any country needs development maybe it is in the field of infrastructure in the form of roads bridges buildings there is requirement for provision of health care facilities to the people by providing doctors hospitals the people of the country needs facilities for education the children of the country need to be sent to better schools colleges universities the defense of the country is very important we need army to safeguard the border of the country as well as to ensure internal security the country needs police military to meet all these expenses government needs money now where from this money will come this money may come from tax revenues or non tax revenues incidentally in india the earning from non tax revenue is not satisfactory and that's why government has to rely on the tax revenues the taxes in india can be divided into two broad categories direct tax and indirect tax recently in the field of indirect tax there has been revolutionary reforms in the forms of goods and services tax but in this course we'll be concentrating on the direct tax that is the income tax the history of income tax goes back to the days of manusmriti kautilya sastra sastra where we can find the history of income tax in modern india when british came the first income tax was imposed in the year 1857 to sustain or to make up the losses incurred by the british government because of sepoy mutiny since then income tax has become a regular feature in india at this moment we have got income tax act 1961 which was passed in september 1961 it came into operation with effect from 1st april 1962 it extends to the whole of india and the rate of income tax are given in the finance act passed by the parliament every year and the finance minister presents it in the union budget this course direct tax laws and practice has certain objectives we'll try the participant to understand the direct taxation system in india the participant will be acquainted with the provisions of the law of direct taxes they'll be able to compute accurately the taxes under different heads of income and also they will learn the competency in better tax planning and management we'll start with the explaining of the basic concepts of income tax be it the assessment year ssc previous year assessment year so all this will be discussed in detail the typical feature of income tax in india is that income tax is imposed on the residential status of the person so our second chapter will be devoted to residential status and how tax incidence falls on the residential status of a person there are certain incomes which are exempted from tax so the third chapter will be devoting for the exempted incomes which are either fully exempted or partially exempted from income tax the income tax in india calculates the income of a person under five heads it is salaries house property business and profession capital gains and income from other sources our objective will be to familiarize the participants with different heads of income clubbing of income is a chapter where we will try to discuss when income of one person is chargeable to tax with another person on the basis of the returns filed by the ssc the income tax department will make the assessment the income tax act makes ample provisions for deductions from income it ranges from 80c to 80u so the participants will be familiarized with the different sections the calculations of taxable income and tax liability of an ssc is very important so our attempt will be to make the participants able to compute the taxable income and tax liability of an ssc the learning outcomes that they will be able to compute income tax under different heads of income they will learn the technique of tax planning 
they will be able to optimize the tax liability legally and they should also help others in tax compliance and also contributes towards the nation building i am subramanyam shakar sarkar from tejpur university a central university in assam so we'll be offering the course direct tax laws and practice please join and enrich your knowledge on the taxation system of the country thank you